guys, it's Janie over at the Bookworms Buddy, and today I'm going to do another video for you. Um, this was actually prompted by the Thrifty Reader, and she had a really great video on character flaws. And um, in general, she was talking about Bridget's Diary and how we can resemble those characters who are flawed and um, how we can almost fit in their shoes because there are so many likenesses between our lives and the lives of our flawed characters. And I wanted to do a video and state my opinion on this. And um, also I wanted to make mention that Ruth at Kindle Reads also had a great discussion on characters. Not specifically flawed characters, but good characters in books. But I want to talk about those characters that are flawed and, um, and just discuss some of my favorites and why and and what have you. Now last year I had my first experience, I'm going to say it was my first experience with that perfect character and that was from Preston and Child and the book I read was Still Life with Crows. It's really a shame because I absolutely love the premise of the story and Preston and Child are great writers. They really are but their character Agent Pendergast was that perfect character. Um, I just can't, I just can't deal with a perfect character and because of that I am not going to read any more of the series and it's it's kind of sad. Um, Agent Pendergast is one of those those detectives who can just snap his fingers and people do stuff for him or they bend over backwards for him and to me that's not realistic. That's just not how people really are. But um, yeah, that just takes away from a story for me. And I don't think I'm the only one that feels like that. I don't think I'm the only one that feels like a character makes or breaks a story. I really don't think I'm the only one. I know Ruth feels that way. And it really does make or break a story. So anyway, um, the next one, a, a new favorite for me, is actually from Tammy Hogue. And these characters, Kovac and Liska, are fantastic. They are completely flawed. They make mistakes. They um, make wrong cho or make the wrong choices. But they're always there for one another. And regardless of what kind of lives they're living, most of our flawed characters can reach out and help people, or they can use those flaws to drive them to solve a case. I also love those flaws when they help mold these people to who they become in the stories. And I absolutely love that. I just think that we connect better with those characters that are flawed. Um, another set of characters I wanted to talk about are the characters in Stephen King's It. Um, if you like Stephen King, you know that he's kind of wordy sometimes. But his characters make up so much for that. Um, these kids in this book don't lead great lives. And I just feel like I'm right there in the story with them. And that is what a flawed character does, I think, for a story. And you connect and you feel like you're there and like you're walking in their shoes. And that's why, that's what initially, I think, takes you to another world. Is those characters that are raw and not perfect. Um, someone else <laughs> I have to talk about is Jonathan Mayberry and I always feel like I'm a broken record when I'm talking about character development and authors that um, are good at that and especially when I'm talking about Jonathan Mayberry. Um, Joe Ledger is probably my all-time favorite character ever. Um, he is so raw and so not perfect and makes so many mistakes and he's the kind that gets in your face and says, hey, you know, and yet he still has that heart of gold and he still wants to help and he still wants to be a good detective and he still wants to accomplish those things for the better good. And um, I love that. I just, I love that. And... I know I'm rambling now, but let me know what you think about characters. Make a video or comment. What 
makes a great character? Do you like the flawed characters or the perfect characters? Let me know. I want to know. Um, I'm going to stop rambling now and I'm going to end this video. So thanks guys for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.